it up. <laughs> Best friend, your innocent mentor mood. It's too hard to resist, even with your flaws. Cause I get a little sentimental too. They sound like what I think I sound like when it's 4 a.m. and I put on singing karaoke on YouTube. <laughs> Smells like rain.
so blue. on it we can't show our address look what came in the mail okay our silver YouTube, silver YouTube button open that you can see okay okay the grand finale Woo! this is so weird I remember watching youtubers when I was younger and they used to have this and now I have one and it has my name on it. Wait, wait, ooh, it has my wait. name on it. Okay, let's put it up yeah, next to your play button. Where's where's the play button you I, made for me? I so I made a custom play button for my sister. <laughs> Woo! It's okay. A let's put it up. Woo! believe I am already going back. I basically spent the entire break sick because I got sick the second I got back and then I only got better like a couple days ago and then a couple days ago by the time I got better I decided to visit my best friend at Princeton. I think the thing I've realized with friendships especially as we get older is that it takes more and more effort to maintain friendships. I think when we're younger what we don't realize is that so many friendships form and are maintained out of convenience and i think i realized that especially during covid because so many of my friends that i thought i was pretty close to in high school we drifted apart so much during covid and we basically don't talk anymore which is kind of sad but it made me realize so many friendships come out of struggling together being in class together just like being forced to see each other every day and go through experiences together um, but without all those social structures um, it's definitely a lot harder to maintain friendships. I think that's why one of the biggest cons about Oxford where there's 40 different colleges and one-on-one -on -one tutorials essentially is that it's so much harder to form close bonds with people because you're not really seeing them every day. There's really not that many people who are in your year, in your college, and studying the same thing as you. Whereas in American colleges, you have people who are doing the exact same homework as you, going to the same classes, and just going through the same struggles so you can find so many people to relate to. Like one of my friends at Oxford literally told me the other day that there are 33 computer science students across the entire university in his year like that idea was just so insane to me because when i took computer science sophomore year at cornell there were literally 700 kids in my class like just in my class so to think that there are only 33 across the entire university in one year is is crazy it just like puts into perspective how rare it is to find people who are like going through the same things as you but anyways i feel like even though me and my best friend have such a low maintenance type of relationship where we literally see each other like two days a year and it's completely normal every time we see each other it just goes back to old times i still think that i want to put in more conscious effort to maintain our friendship because it's just so scary to think about getting older and having a bunch of priorities and responsibilities that could keep us from being as close as we are now. But yeah, I feel really energized after going to visit her and now I am ready to head back to the land 
of fish and chips, afternoon tea. Oh my God, my British accent is so bad. Please do not make... And now I am ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, now, now I'm ready to go back to the land of the Brits.